So good morning everybody, here we're on Saturday morning, you can hear the music in the background, so I have some accompaniment this morning. Uh, it's it's uh, where I usually do my recording, there's a baseball company baseball tournament going on. It's that time of year, and they've been going since like 7 o'clock this morning, that's okay. It's uh, We all get to celebrate this time of the year as uh, the warm weather starts kicking in. Uh, so we're reading through, uh, still reading through Proverbs. And uh, this morning we're really, we're dealing with um, uh, contrasts in life. There's the, the you know, there's the, the righteous and the unrighteous. And, and, and as we re read through Proverbs, we, we see that these two are in, in contrast to each other. And it really comes down to uh, uh, two elements. Is, is your life based on yourself or uh, is it based on... Um, on God's expectations, on, on what our Father wants, because it's supposed to be based on on a life that pleases Him, and 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 we we can see the difference because a, a righteous life really is one that's willing to um, sacrifice rights and and such for the benefit of other people, whereas the uh, unrighteous, it, it um, wow, lots of mosquitoes today, it has to do with. Um, you know, you focus on yourself, on, on your rights, uh, what your privileges are, and and you know, what you do what benefits you, and just forget about anybody else. So it, it's it uh, it leads to a lot of strife, a lot of d difficulty. Whereas the the contrast, whereas uh, a righteous life really leads to um, peace. There's peace. There's joy. There's um, there's good stuff that that, that happens just naturally uh, along with the blessings of the Lord that are able to flow in, in a righteous life but the uh, the unrighteous it's just it's it's filled with just focused on self focus on self and, and my rights and how I feel and blah 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 blah, blah. And, and we know that love love demands sacrifice love demands uh, where we put the needs of other people ahead of our own um, the love demands uh, forgiveness. Love demands, uh, you know, that we don't keep a, a, a list of wrongs. It's, it's, there's all kinds of things that are involved in that. And that's what a, a selfless life looks like. It, it's not that we don't take care of ourselves. It's not that we don't protect ourselves. It's not that we don't, but we do it in a way that, that doesn't take away from other people. Uh, there are times that we have to say no to people. It's it's a, a simple matter. We can't do we can't be everything to everybody, and we can't do all things. We're not God, uh, but we can do what we can do. And and when we can do something and we choose not to because it's going to be an inconvenience, uh, that's not a life that pleases our Lord. And and uh, that's a that's not a righteous life. <laughs> that's a life based on uh, on self. Um, so we're, we're supposed to love to the nth degree. We're supposed to do everything that we can to love people. And uh, that, yeah, that's, that's something that, that, that causes contrast uh, with a life that isn't like that. So it's worth examining because we, we can all fit in, into that. We can all slip into a, a life that is based on self um, instead of based on, on the Lord Jesus Christ. So I'm not saying it's a life based on other people. I'm not saying that. It's, it's a life based on what pleases Father. And uh, as we've read through, we, we can see very much that um, what, what pleases him is, is a life that's willing to sacrifice for those who are marginalized and those who are in need. Right? So, something to consider today. You have a blessed and wonderful day. Continue to pray for Barbara. She's in, in hospital after having a, a heart attack. And uh, uh, she needs an operation. They can't give her that operation. So we're going in to pray over her, pray healing. So you'll be believing for that today. God bless.